Hey guys, it's your pal Victor here, and we're gonna talk about Dune real quick, so stay tuned. So, Dune just came out this past weekend, and I wanna talk a little bit about um, the best possible way to see this movie, because now I have seen this movie in several different formats. I've seen it on HBO Max, seen it in Dolby Atmos, I've seen it in Cine Capri, which is basically a large format theater, and I've seen it in IMAX. Um, my overall thoughts on the film are that it was a really great film. Um, uh, feel that we sort of got shortchanged by not having it, uh, a scenario where it was filmed all at once and we would get the second part in like six months. But overall, the performances, the cinematography, this movie are top notch. I enjoy how Denny Villeneuve um, uses the Fremen as sort of this um, stand in for the treatment of uh, the Moors or Muslims living in Spain with like um, the Atreides and uh, sort of put in the position of Spaniards and that whole dichotomy of. Um, the, the uh, troubled history between the Moors and the Spanish in Europe um, and the Crusades, which uh, as a history, someone with a history degree, um, this movie is a very uh, pertinent example of uh, the issues of uh, using the sword to spread uh, your religion and rule uh, because the idea of... Um, you know, planting the idea of your our savior is the same as your savior is pretty much the major tenet of the Crusades in general. And if you're not familiar with the Crusades, uh, this was back when uh, the Catholic Church basically um, suggested to some of the kings of Europe that, hey, uh, you know, Muslims have taken over the Holy Land why don't you do your church a favor and use some of your power and influence as the kings of Europe to send your armies to conquer the Holy Land for uh, the mother church, which was the Catholic, church, the Roman Catholic Church. And at the time, uh, you know, this led to the church being a very powerful political institution that insinuated itself in world politics much the way that uh, Relig the Catholic Church insinuates himself in the life of the family through marriage, birth, funerals, uh, baptisms, uh, so that they are you are linked to the church as an institution. Back then, it was much the same way. In fact, to this day, you could argue, oh, actually, it's a very easy argument that the Vatican is the church state of the Roman Catholic Church and the Holy See also wielded very strong influence throughout the 20th century. So, you know, kings like, you know, King Richard of England and French, um, amongst others, uh, would make unions based on the Catholic Church's uh, desires. There were Holy Roman Catholic emperors, and they would go to, uh, you know, places like, you know, uh, the Middle East to uh, try to conquer it, um, which, you know, inspired a lot of uh historical epics um but yeah that this led to uh very different very strong issues between the peoples of europe and the middle east uh which you can read about in your history books or wikipedia but you know i've belabored it enough this film hits that on many levels uh through the character of baron harkonnen who's very much like the current the character of colonel kurtz in Apocalypse Now, which again is a story about going native when a war, you know, the U.S. as a war force invades the Vietnam and uh, to conquer it and basically, uh, you, you know, not conquer it, but you know, you see people like Kurtz who basically go native and realize, oh, this is wrong, but I'll be a god king instead. Uh, so there's a lot of that, and that's very pertinent in in Frank Herbert's work, whose book, further books include uh, titles like God Emperor of Dune. So there you go. Uh, I will say this movie pretty much directly adapts the book. Um, it brings back Duncan Idaho as a very important character overall in that mythos, 
Leah Kynes is a very important character, and she's one of the best characters in this movie. Um, if you're interested in hard sci-fi and, and, and fantasy in terms of Herbert's work, this is your adaptation. Um, much better than the Lynch version. And that saying, I'm excited for part two to come out. So if you enjoyed my thoughts on Dune, please feel free to check out other reviews. And I will say the best way to see this movie is actually in Dolby Atmos. You do get the full big picture in IMAX, and if you should see it in IMAX. But overall, the sound design on this film is amazing. And if you're going to go to a theater to watch it, you want to have the best possible sound so go see it in a Dolby cinema because Dolby Atmos is the way to go some places have Cine One which is a large format theater with Dolby Atmos and if you have that opportunity available to you large format with Dolby Atmos that is the absolute best way to see this movie with HBO Max and it being second to seeing it in a regular movie theater because if you're seeing this in a regular movie theater you're basically just wasting your time you want good sound and a big picture, large format with Dolby Atmos, way to go. If you enjoyed my thoughts, please feel free to subscribe, uh, check out other reviews, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll talk to you later. All right.